Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to GATE CSC 2005. The given question is in an inventory management system impl implemented at a trading corporation, there are several tables designed to hold all information. Okay, so assume these the following two tables hold information of which items are supplied okay so there are, they gave two different tables here items are supplied and which warehouse keeps which item along with the stock of that particular item okay so basically assume that this particular thing is for go down assume in that way so they are saying supply so that table will contain supplier id as well as the item code whereas inventory has item code warehouse and stock level okay so for a specific information required by the management following sql query has been written so they wrote this particular sql query okay so now they are asking for the warehouse at nagpur this query will find all supplies who okay so they have stopped here okay so they are saying this way this up uh, this code will work with the nagpur right yes so i clearly see that in the last line right so inventory warehouse is available in nagpur so i think i can eliminate that particular line as that is already written in the question right yes so now my query is this much length only okay and they clearly told that from the warehouse at nagpur this query will find all supplies so that's what it is doing right so it is finding supply ids from this smtp only right yes okay yes from this supply table only so this is also correct okay so now the only thing which i need to search is so now i need to perform this inner query and based on that inner query whichever are not unique i'm going to print them so that is what i think we should take a small example here right okay so now the inner query it says that itmp okay so itmp is a nothing but the combination of these two so basically here we are performing cartesian product or joint or joint based on supplier id right so we are matching this supply so, sorry so just to give me a second okay so we are matching the supplier id with its own table okay so we are mapping that table with its own table or is there any printing mistake here okay Okay, okay, so now I understood. So basically, first we are performing Cartesian product in between these two and we named that table as this and now we are performing the uh, relation in between this new table and this table. Okay, and we are also checking whether the ITMP item code is equal to inventory dot item code. Okay, and we are selecting all these supplier IDs and where not unique items. So whichever all the, of these are not unique means duplicates are available. So those items we are printing, right? Yes. Okay. So option A says that do not supply any item. Supplies exactly one item. Supply one or more item. Supplies two or more items. Okay. So to be clear, without even solving the question, I think I have analyzed this particular thing, right? Yes. So we indirectly told one of that statement, right? So if you observe here carefully, so we are saying a not unique. So which will not be unique, guys? So indirectly unique means what? Exactly one. Not unique means what? So more than two, right? Equal to two or more than two. So option D is the correct answer. So this is a quite interesting question, but the question is given in such a way that without even trying to solve it, we were able to solve it, right? Yes. But few students will be like, okay, so please, please explain it with an example because we did not get directly from the given query. Okay. Yes. So let me take a small example. Okay. So let me think of a small example, guys. So we want two supplies or more. So let us take one, only two items. Okay. So the item ID, ID is one. So this is supplier table. The item ID is one and the item code. Okay. So sup, uh, supplier ID. So supplier ID is one. Okay. And the supplier ID is two. Okay. Okay. So the item code. So basically what we are checking here. So just to give me a second. Uh, we are checking this based on this. Okay. Yes. So let us start. Okay. Yes. So supplier ID one and the item code is a X and the item code is a Y. Okay. And in inventory that is nothing but i we are having the item code so the item code should match so x and y and it is in warehouse of nagpur only assume in that way and the stock level is a 2 here and the stock level is 1 here okay so now what we are initially performing we are directly taking this supplier table and we are assuming it as a stmp 
ओके एंड देन वी आर परफॉर्मिंग इन्वेंट्री वर्सेस सप्लाई एंड गेटिंग ए न्यू टेबल विच इज कॉल्ड एज अटीएमपी सो वेन वी आर गेटिंग दिस ईटीएमपी we are try we are first getting that so how we can get it guys so you will just cross multiply them so you will get four entries in total right so 1 x x nagpur 2 uh, 1 x y nagpur 1 2 y x nagpur 2 2 y y nagpur 1 okay so this is the table which they are calling it as itmp right yes so whenever we are calling it as a itmp Okay, so just give me a second. This query will find all suppliers who are supplying. Okay, so they should supply two items, right? Then, okay. So I think I need to repeat this particular thing. Ah, uh, what can we do? Okay, so let it be. Let us solve it for now. Okay, yes. So I have duplicated it. Okay. So now we are checking where STMP dot supplier ID. So STMP dot where is supplier ID? So this particular row is equals to ITMP dot supplier ID. Okay, so it is indirectly available in this particular row. So we are comparing these two. Whatever are equal, we are taking them separately. So here one is equal to one, one is equal to one, two is equal to two, so two is equal to two. Okay. So basically, all these rows will be coming out, and then we are checking in which item ITMP dot item code. So in this, what is item code? So this X is nothing but the item code. So we are checking item code for this should match with this. Okay. So once that matching is done, so indirectly we are selecting the things. So here, if you observe, we are going to get both of them, right? So we are going to get supplier ID one and supplier ID two as a result. So but we want only non-unique, not unique. So these two are already unique. Means indirectly we are not going to get them. So if you take one more entry, one next, one next here. So at that time we could get that particular entry outside. So that will be the result. So that's how. we can do it with the help of example but i think when you are working with these codes without even taking example sometimes with these codes you should observe the things guys so the thing which i have observed is not unique so indirectly if they are unique they will not be selected right yes so with that analysis i think we can conclude that option d is the correct answer directly right yes okay so i hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this question so in the next lecture let us continue with the next question okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching like share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this thank you